What is to stop cognitive processing? Examples Visual stimuli perceived by a non-gestalt processor. How the gestalt processor perceives the same visual. Non-GP processing individual words and meanings. GP perceiving a common phrase as one unit of meaning. Non-JP processing an unfinished shape. GP mentally completing the same unfinished shape pattern because their brains filled the missing space to perceive a whole image. Non-JP perceiving many elements within a visually distracting stimulus. GP perceiving and processing only a preferred pattern within the same visually distracting stimulus. Distal processor enjoying a play pattern. Distal processor desiring the same play pattern every time. What is Gestalt cognitive processing? When we say that people are Gestalt processors, we're referring to the ways their brains are set up. Gestalt processors are born with brains that perceive, process, and organize information into meaningful patterns. Meaningful to them, not necessarily meaningful to non-Gestalt processors. For example, the squiggly picture with the outline of the tree, if you presented that to a Gestalt processor, you may want them to retrieve all the visual stimuli, but they only really retrieved the shape that was interesting to them, which was the tree. Or Gestalt processors may perceive process and organize information as a whole, rather than seeing how the stimuli is made up of individual parts. For example, the line image in this video, we know that it was made up of small little circles, but a Gestalt processor may perceive that as just one solid line, seeing the whole rather than seeing the parts. So why is it important to know about Gestalt processors? Well, not all Gestalt processors are autistic, but 85% of autistic people are Gestalt processors. So it's very important to know how to support these learners, not only through their language acquisition journey, but their learning journey in general. Here are some ways to support their learning. Highlight patterns, emphasize patterns, no matter what you're teaching, try to show how individual things are used to make up a whole. For example, puzzles. Use as many visual aids as possible. This is one reason why I love speech generating devices so much because of course we can program phrases into the speech generating device and we absolutely will, but in a lot of ways you have to put two or three icons together to say a fluid functional thought and that teaches the learner, hey, you have to do three different motions to say three different things and that's because each thing has its own individual meaning. Provide concrete examples. Bring your own memories and own experiences into learning situations. A trademark characteristic of Gestalt processors is that they have amazing episodic memories. And so they will most likely be able to think of a memory themselves that relates to whatever concept you're trying to teach. And that is a way that they communicate what they know. Encourage active participation and have the Gestalt processor be a part of the learning lesson by organizing or arranging whatever stimuli you're working with. And if you're interested in learning more about Gestalt processing or learning more about neurodiversity affirming practices in general, you can follow me at Support the Spectrum on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram.